Hello everyone, Neve Doyle here, and this is your weekly Grass 10 grazing management update on the Dairy Edge. The pasture based Ireland data for the week is average farm cover 759 kilos of dry matter per hectare, cover per livestock unit is running at 252 kilos of dry matter per livestock unit, growth is at 49 kilos of dry matter per hectare, and demand is 46 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Pre-grazing yield has dropped 1,280 kilos of dry matter per hectare and the diet is roughly 13 kilos of grass, 3.5 kilos of meal and 1.5 kilo of silage. Dry matter percentages recorded for the week are 19% in Athenry County Galway, 17% in Oak Park County Carlow and 16% in Moore Park County Cork. Your predicted grass growth, rainfall and soil temperatures for the next seven days Grass growth predictions are quite variable across the country, with 50 to 55 kilos of dry matter per hectare expected to grow in the south and east. However, higher growth rates are expected in the north and west, with 55 to 60 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Soil temperatures expected to stay to between 14 and 15 degrees. The northwest is expecting low rainfall of 5 to 15 millimetres for the next seven days with the east and south expecting higher rainfall of between 20 and 30 millimetres. Your grass 10 tips for the week then. Average farm cover is behind target for this time of year. Growth rates are below normal at 49 kilos of dry matter per hectare on dairy and dry stock farms. As a result, grass supply is behind target on most farms. It's important to try bill grass over the next two to three weeks. Achieving an adequate grass supply still remains the target. If average farm cover is less than 600 kilos of dry matter per hectare, aiming to achieve an average farm cover of 750 to 800 kilos of dry matter per hectare or more will be a reasonable target for mid-September. Herd demand must be reduced on these farms. If grass demand is 20 kilos of dry matter per hectare below growth, this will add about 150 kilos of dry matter per hectare to your average farm cover in one week. The farm must be set up for a 30 day rotation in the month of September. It's important to fill the gap with meal and or silage to hold this rotation at 30 days. So for example, a 30 hectare farm on the 1st of September, the target then is to graze one hectare per day and fill the remaining part of the diet with supplements. Continue to walk the farm weekly to allow for decisions. Parts of the northern half of the country have received excessive rainfall in recent weeks. This has left some parts of the farm challenging to graze and particularly on heavy soils farms, animals having to be housed. The priority of grazing at the shoulders of the year in difficult conditions are one, feed the animal, two, to avoid damage, and three, achieve residuals. An improvement in forecasts is expected this week with low rainfall which will hopefully improve the situation on these farms. A reminder then that the last day for chemical fertilizer application is 14th of September. It's important to establish your remaining nitrogen fertilizer allowance for your farm as current application of N during early September gives a higher response. Paddocks to be grazed this week that have one application of fertilizer left spread 30 kilos of nitrogen per hectare, which is approximately 25 units of nitrogen per acre. Soil water or collecting yard tank should be stored for mid-September application after grazing. As we come closer to the closing date of this year's Sustainable Grassland Farm of the Year competition, don't forget to get your entries in. This year's competition has six categories, dairy, dry stock, nutrient management and use efficiency, clover, organic farming, and young farmer. Each category winner will receive €5,000 and the overall winner will be selected from the category winners and will receive an additional €5,000. Click on the link in this week's newsletter to enter. This week's feature farmer is the 2023 Sustainable Grass and Farm of the Year Nutrient Category Joint Winner Killian Brennan from Kilcogie County Cavan. Killian's average farm cover is 908 kilograms of dry matter per hectare. Cover per livestock unit is 260 kilograms dry matter per livestock unit. 
His gross is 57 kilos of dry mash per hectare and his demand is 59 kilos of dry mash per hectare. His cows are milking 18.7 litres. Fat is 4.8% and protein is 3.9%. To reduce demand on farm, Killian plans on zero grazing red clover from an outblock to cows or housing empty cows and feeding them silage. Cows are on four kilos of meal in the parlour and 12 hour grass allocations. By now, most of Killian's paddocks have been grazed eight times this year. And lastly, on this week's podcast, a reminder of our upcoming Sustainable Grass and Farm of the Year Farm Walk next Wednesday, 11th of September at 11 a.m. on the farm of Kevin O'Hanlon in Inniscorty, County Wexford. Kevin is the Organic Farming Category winner of the 2023 Sustainable Grass and Farm of the Year competition. Have a quick look in this week's newsletter for a promotional video and on social media for more information. If you'd like to hear more from the Grass 10 team, subscribe to the weekly Grass 10 newsletter, which is available on the Grass 10 page on the Chagas public website, and the link to the newsletter is also available in the description of this podcast. This has been your Grass 10 update. I'll talk to you all next week.